Today we are going to do exercise 9.3, that is unitary method. So before we start the exercise, let me tell you what is unitary method. The method of finding the value of one unit by dividing and then finding the value of the required number of units by multiplying is called the unitary method. So here we will do exercise 9.3, question number 1. The price of 10 bowls is rupees 50. Find the price of 15 such bowls. So here students, we will make two column, okay? That is one for the bowls and one for the price, okay? So here, 10 bowl it costs rupees 50, okay? And find the price of 15 such bowls. So here, for the bowls of 15, how much it costs? We are going to find that. So here, let the the price be x. So here, we will cross multiply, okay? 10 into x and 15 into 50. So here, 10 into x equal to 15 into 50, okay? So here, x, 15 into 50, then we go in the denominator side. 0, 0, cancel it. Now, 15 into 5, 5 is 75, okay? So, the price of 15 bowls is rupees 75, okay? So, this is the answer of this question. So, here students, we will do question number 2. That is, the price of 20 kg of weight is rupees 300. Find the price of 13 kg of weight, okay? So, here, like we have done in the previous question, even here also we will be doing the same way okay so here let the price of 13 kg of width be x okay so here we'll make two column that is width kg and another price okay so here 20 kg of width is rupees 600 and find the price of 13 kg 13 kg of weight okay so we don't know the price so we will just make it x okay so here like we will do cross multiply okay 20 into x and 13 into 600 okay so 20 into x and 13 13 into 600 okay so here x so 20 will go in the denominator side Okay, so 0, 0 cancel, 2, 1, 0, 2, 2, 3, 0, 6, 2, 0, 0, 0, and here, 13 into 30 is 390. So, therefore, the price of 13 kg of width is rupees 390. Okay, so this is the answer. Here, students, we will do question number 3. If there are 50 trees in 4 acres of land, how many trees are there in 10 acres of land? So students, we have to find the numbers of trees in 10 acres of land. So here, let the numbers of trees in 10 acres of land be x. So like we have done in the previous question, even here also we will do, we will make a column, okay? So there is number of trees and the next one is acres of land, okay? So here, in 50 trees, there are 4 acres of land and how many trees? How many trees? So we don't know, so since we have given here x, so we will be giving here x, okay? So here, how many trees are there in 10 acres of land? So even here also, we will do cross multiply, okay? It is here, 4 into x equal to 50 into 10, okay? We will cross multiply 4 into x and 50 into 10, okay? So here, 50 into 10, 4, 4 will go in the denominator side, and here, 2 to the 4 and 2 5 are 10, 2 1 are 2, 225 is 50. 
So 25 into 5 is 125. So, so here, therefore, the numbers of trees in 10 acres of land is 125 okay so this is the answer of this question so here we will do question number four there are 15 pencils in three boxes find the number of pencils in 10 such box so students we are going to find the numbers of pencils in 10 such boxes okay so here let the number of pencil in 10 boxes b x okay so here we'll make two column that is one for the pencils and another one is box okay boxes so here in 15 pencil there are three boxes find the number of pencil so we have given here x so find the number of pencil in 10 such boxes 10 boxes we are going to find the number of pencil okay so even here also we'll cross multiply it 3 into x 15 into 10 so 3 into x and 15 into 10 so x 3 will go to the denominator side so here 3 1 the 3 3 5 zero, 15 so 5 into 10 is 50 okay so here therefore the number of pencil in 10 boxes are 50 okay so this is the answer of the students we will do question number five a car consume eight liter of petrol in covering a distance of 100 kilometer how many kilometers will it travel in 26 liter of petrol so here let the distance traveled by a car in 26 liter of petrol b x okay so here we will make a two column that is one liter for liter of petrol and another one is distance in kilometer okay so here in Eight liter of petrol, a car can travel hundred kilometer, and here we have to find the distance traveled by a car when it consumes twenty six liter. Okay, so now here we we'll cross multiply. Okay, so here eight into x and twenty six into hundred. So here eight into x and twenty six into hundred. Okay, so here eight will go to the denominator side okay so here two eight two four zero eight and two one zero two two three zero six so here two two zero four two five zero ten zero two one zero two 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 zero four one in hand and two five zero ten okay so here thirteen into twenty five and thirteen into twenty five you will get here three twenty five so here therefore the distance travel by a car in 26 liter of petrol is 325 kilometer so this is the answer of this question so here students will do question number six an aeroplane flies 4000 km in 5 hours how far does it travel in 8 hours so here let the distance travel by aeroplane in 8 hours b x okay and we'll here we'll make Two column that is distance 
in kilometer and one for the hours okay so here in five hours the, the airplane travel 4000 kilometer and how far that means we are going to find the how far does it travel in eight hours so in eight hours we are going to find the distance so we have given here x the distance traveled by airplane in eight hours be x so we'll give here x okay so like we have to do cross multiply okay so here five into x and here four thousand into eight okay so here five will go to the denominator side and here five ones are five five eights are forty two zero and here eight hundred into eight eight is a sixty four okay and for three thousand four hundred so therefore the distance travel by airplane in at hours is 6400 kilometer so this is the answer of this question so students if you have any doubt you can comment it down below okay thank you